So this is an interesting video. Um, as you can tell from many of the videos I've been posting, I recently went on a trip to Hawaii for my honeymoon and it was amazing. We went to Maui and it truly is one of the most idyllic, magical places on earth. I mean, literally, it, it was almost cartoonishly magical. We got off the plane on the way to the condo in our lift. We had the most amazing whale sighting. Uh, we were walking through the town that same day. There was a woman giving out toffee samples and a bird flew down and was eating out of her hand. This beautiful red bird, I have pictures of it. I'll put that here. And then we walked to the end and we started to watch the sunset and it was so gorgeous and then we turn around and there's green pointy mountains with a rainbow, no lie, and I have a picture of that as well. But this video is not about all that. What this video is about is anxiety. So I am somebody who suffers from generalized anxiety disorder. I had it my, own, my whole life and it wasn't really diagnosed until recently. And when I say recently, I mean the last few years. You know, I just thought it was normal. I just thought everybody lived with it. But the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because even in the middle of this amazing, amazing vacation, I got hit with, I'd say, one of the worst anxiety attacks, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a panic attack. Um, it, it wasn't, there wasn't ever a point where I felt like I couldn't breathe or that I had to go to the hospital, but I was really just, my anxiety had reached such an intense point that I felt like I had to start taking jackets off and I had to just sort of immediately leave this conversation with my husband and run into a health food st store and just start breathing deeply. So. You know, I think it's important to know that even in the most idyllic environments, even on vacation, anxiety is going to follow you because it, it is a part of your life. And what made it worse for me is, and I think this is true in life, is I was sort of denying it. I felt a little bit selfish that I was in this beautiful environment and everything seemed perfect at first and then all of a sudden my anxiety started creeping up on me and I just I just didn't want to believe it. it it was a little bit of like there was a voice saying how, how how can you find yourself being impatient how can you find yourself starting to get nervous look at where you are just focus on that breathe deep what are you doing and of course the more you ignore it um, the worse it gets gets the worse it gets so of course what finally sort of punctured it for me is that i simply verbalized it i uh i remember it was the morning we were about to drive the road to hana and my husband and i were in this little town of paella and i was just feeling at a loss for words i was noticing my anxiety and i couldn't make decisions and i kind of wanted him to make decisions because i was just not in the state but i wasn't saying that and because i was in such in, i was in my head so much i kept feeling like i was having these really really awkward encounters with salespeople and in different stores it's just really kind of caving in, falling in on myself. And I think anybody who has anxiety and is, you know, an introvert, there are times where you just feel like you forget how to be human or you're like another, an alien trying to fake its way around to being human and you're having these really awkward exchanges and you're like watching yourself have them. So, you know, finally it just reached this apex is that the right word? I think so. It reached a climax oh. um, where we were standing there and I was so in my head and my husband, I think, picks up on it very subconsciously. Um, and so he was trying to like make these funny jokes. We saw this flyer um, up in the health food store and it was like very, very woo woo, which I'm into that stuff sometimes. And he was just sort of doing a bit and um, you know, making some funny comments, but I was not in the right headspace. And I was screaming, like in my head, I was screaming, read the room. And what I meant by that was like, ha, ah, like how can he not notice that I'm in this state? And finally, I, I just 
ran into the health food store and I was like, I have to smell wheatgrass and I needed something healthy. So I bought myself a drink that I think had ginger and turmeric in it. That's what I was in the mood for. And I drank that and I, and I calmed myself down and then I walked back outside and I, I said to him, I said, I, I just, I got to tell you something. I'm having a bit of a freak out right now. And the minute, the minute the words came out of my mouth and he, he just went very sympathetically, oh, I'm sorry, you know, he felt really bad. It all dispersed and I felt so much better. And then he was able to comfort me and he was able to say, well, it's okay, you know, deep breathe. And I cried a little bit in the car and I, and I talked it out and I processed it and then I felt so much better. But, you know, anxiety is a bitch but we live with it, it's part of us, and you just have to remember that even when you're in paradise, it's going to follow you there, and to just employ the same tactics, um, you know, to get through it, and just be kind to yourself, and not judge yourself, and not tell yourself that you can't have these feelings, because that's never, ever, ever going to work. So, anyway, I just, I just thought it was important to talk about that because, you know, especially when we're posting all these amazing pictures of our vacation, you know, I think it's important to note that even in the midst of all that, you know, I still had this, this anxiety attack and just kind of talk about it, right? Because it's normal. So many people have it. But, um, you know, I hope uh, you like this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you have any comments, any questions um, about this video, about anxiety, you know, I'm by no means an expert. Um, I am open about it, more than happy to talk about it. And I think, you know, it is good to create a dialogue because I think that helps. So anyway, I wish you the best. Thanks for watching and um, thanks so much. Mosquito. It just all dispersed and it just, I'm hitting my plant over here, sorry. It just all dispersed. <laughs> I did it again.